Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this video. In the 90s, Eric von Däniken, a famous ancient astronaut theorist, suggested in his book on the Sphinx that the legendary labyrinth is not what they say it was. It is not where they say it is. It is somewhere else. Does this tunnel lead down to the actual labyrinth? Hello everyone. Um, there is a huge problem with history. We're going to talk about the labyrinth, uh, just a, an amazing problem with history. Look, I think the labyrinth is either Karnak, okay, which is amazing, or it is basically the Pyramid of Djoser, which does have a huge, it's not just a pyramid, it's a massive complex with a huge labyrinth underneath it. Now, when I say labyrinth, I'm talking about the labyrinth of Mr. Herodotus, who went to Egypt and he said the labyrinth, uh, I've actually seen a, a work beyond words, for if anyone put together the buildings of the Greeks and display their labours, they would seem lesser in effort and expense to this labyrinth, even the pyramids are beyond words, and each was equal to many and mighty the works of the Greeks, yet the labyrinth surpasses even the pyramids. And he said it's got staircases upon staircases and all this nonsense. Uh, von Daniken visited what, what they say is the labyrinth at Hawara. There's nothing there. There is nothing there. Von Daniken visited in his book, The Eyes of the Sphinx, and he said he was very disappointed. He, he, he told the taxi driver to take him there. The taxi driver told him, there's nothing there. And he said, I want to see it anyway. And he went there and he said, well, there's, you're right. There's nothing there. There's nothing here. And it was Mr. Carlepsius, as you see, in 1843, he, um, he, um, he what, what, later on, uh, it was actually after that. He he went. Uh, he he uh, he telegrammed the Kaiser and he said, "I've discovered the labyrinth." And the Kaiser said, "What an absolute a brilliant piece of ingenuity!" <laughs> I know a German who looks exactly like that. What a brilliant piece of uh, German ingenuity! Brilliant, and um, it's a lot of nonsense, really. Uh, just a lot of nonsense. You see, that's the sort of thing you get there at. Uh, Hawara, there's nothing there. Look, they say it's been quarried and destroyed. Look, to me, the quality isn't even up to scratch. This is the biggest problem of all in Egyptian archaeology for me. I don't believe it. Now, Herodotus said you put all the buildings of the Greeks together. Well, that sounds like the Karnak Temple to me. That would make a much better labyrinth than this so-called nothing at Hawara. There's, there's nothing there. What there is, there, there's places you walk on the ground and um, uh, labyrinth, and it says, oh, the labyrinth was here, you know, and this was here, this was here. And um, I doubt that very much. Uh, in fact, look, there's, there's nothing even here. There's nothing, they don't even show anything. On, I can't even find the site, but there's a site saying the labyrinth was here and it doesn't even pop up here because it's so insignificant. Does that sound to you like something which exceeds the pyramids? It does not. Alternately, you have this massive necropolis at Saqqara. I think this is the labyrinth. And it, it is just an amazing, amazing thing. It's got this, this massive shaft going down here. Uh, down here, sorry. Uh, one of those conical, one of those weird shafts. Another shaft going down there. Endless tunnels. God knows what other tunnels there are because no one's really been allowed down there in decades. Oh. Oh. There's another Great Geezer battery there. Remember my clip, the Great Geezer battery? There's another one here. What the hell is that? That's weird. Here, look, there's another tunnel going down. And there's another labyrinth. So this whole thing, I believe, would have been called the labyrinth. Okay? So it's this or it's Karnak. And Karnak, there might be more. There might be underground chambers, etc. There might be a lot more here at Karnak. Karnak is just full of Egypt. So I think one of these two is the labyrinth. And you'll say, look, Charles, Mr. Herodotus gave very specific instructions. He said it was at Hawara. And uh, I'm going to tell you that is not actually strictly accurate because the reason is all of these ancient books are assembled from fragments. We don't have ancient books. They are all fragmentary, especially 
Uh, that's in the case of Aristotle. We really don't know how he wrote, and, and, and it's actually assembled from fragments, bits, and pieces. Um, and that's why when you read Aristotle, you actually get a splitting headache because it's very confusing. He goes around and around in circles. It, it, it's, like, it's, like, uh, it's like it's two or three different people talking at the same time, and uh, that's really what's going on. So the, 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 it's been mixed up. They say Herodotus is the father of lies. One of the reasons is he talks about the ancient... Uh, sex cults, the ancient fertility rituals, the Babylonians, Babylonian women uh, offering themselves as, uh, 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 for sacred prostitution in temples. And the 19th century scholars just couldn't believe this, but it's true as. Um, but the other reason is it must be assembled from fragments and, and the labyrinth must be somewhere else. I will never believe it is at Hawara, never in a million years, because that makes doesn't make any sense to me. And I like things that make sense to me, absolute sense to me. And so we look at labyrinths in, say, churches, for example. And the labyrinths that you get in churches, say, this one, Amiens Cathedral. Why is there a labyrinth on the floor? And the reason is, these are the mansions of heaven, the mansions of paradise, which would have been located under the pyramid in ancient times. And I speculate, would there have been pyramids where cathedrals now stand in Europe? Were there once pyramids all over Europe or mounds or something where cathedrals once are? Does the cathedral spire... You know what? I'm thinking the cathedral spire is actually Yggdrasil or a pyramid. And that's why there is a spire there in the first place. I'm assuming this is under the spire or something like that. And But it replicates catacombs, tunnels, where the dead were buried, where the ancestors are, where the spirits are. And that, my friends, is why I think why... The labyrinth is sacred. That is actual the reason. This is the place of the ancestors. That is a labyrinth there. That is the only big labyrinth I know. The other ruined mud brick pyramids had these as well, which is what they say was at Hawara. But uh, this is this is the one. There is no other labyrinth in Egypt. This is the labyrinth. And look, I don't even know what these vertical things are. These vertical weird shafts. There's, there's tens of them. This is unbelievable. Another battery structure here. I don't know what I'm even looking at here anymore. The, 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 the deeper we go into this, the more questions arise. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video on the so-called labyrinth. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed that, guys. And check out the next video, which is coming up. Bye-bye.